Hey YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and I want to show you guys how you can get versatility out of your scoreboard dies. Sizzix released a new scoreboard die called Make It 3D and I'm going to show you guys how you can use some of your existing scoreboard dies and use it with additional dies to make those additional dies 3D. So let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the candy jars 3D die. It's a scoreboard die. And you get these three pieces here. You get the candy jar, this candy jar, and then you get this piece here. This piece is actually the 3D piece. It will make the candy jar 3D. But not only the candy jar, it will make other designs 3D as well. But what I did do was I took a teapot design. This is what's called teapot. It's one of Sizzix's older dies. I took this design and actually made the teapot 3D. 3D how? Because it stands up. Really cute, right? And I created that by using the 3D piece that came from the, the teacup 3D die. Which is this piece right here. And it fit this design perfectly. So let me show you another one. I used Sizzix Mixing Bowl. Once again, another older die. And I made it 3D. This one rocks as well. So cute. And the 3D piece I used for that one came from a smaller scoreboard die called Clay Pot, which is this size here. Okay, so let me show you another one. And I absolutely love this next one. This is also a newer die by Sizzix. It's called Slice Bread. So you get this nice shape of bread. Well, I took it and I made it 3D. And by the way, this is wheat bread. So cute. I love how this one came out. Look how that just sits there. So cute. I love it. And you know, if your um, kids have friends over, this would be a wonderful project to make with the kids. They could either choose white bread or wheat bread. But when they're done, go ahead and add the individual peanut butter and jelly in there. That, that's a big peanut butter container, I know. But they have smaller ones. Add it in there and just make the whole experience that much more better because after all it does say the greatest thing since right because it comes with an embossing folder so nice but you know what you can use you don't have to only use your dies I actually used my Cricut Explorer to cut out this teapot and I made it 3D so for all of the designs that I showed you, all four of these, I only used these two 3D pieces from the two dies I showed you. And what's great about these is you can actually cut these down smaller to suit the size you need. So you get even more versatility out of these pieces. Now let me show you a die because all the scoreboard dies don't have the 3D pieces. This is a scoreboard die. It's called Index Card Folder. And if you notice, it does not have that 3D piece. So all dies or, or all scoreboard dies will not lend itself to this technique. You want to look for your dies that already have this piece here. And it's so interesting because I had thought about using the 3D pieces with other designs to make them 3D. And it's funny how Sizzix just came out with that die. 
Now that die once again was made, I believe, because I don't have it, but I believe it was made to be used with three additional dies. But if you pick up that die, which I'm going to pick it up, you can use those 3D pieces with other designs. Absolutely love it. So you guys, take out your scoreboard dies, see which ones have these pieces, and see what items you can make 3D. Thank you guys for watching.